Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to georeference a topo sheet. For that, you should go to raster and then click on georeferencer. In case it is not there on your system, please uh, check in the plugins option. Go to plugins, click on manage and install plugins and then a pop-up box will appear. So here, you can see that uh, plugins installed. Now, if you click on all, it will show you all the available plugins. You can just select any one desired and then install it. But anyways, now I will see that in my installed option, georeferencer is already installed. It is checked. In case in yours, it is not installed. Just type here georeferencer and install it. Now I'm going to close it. Go to raster menu again, then go to georeferencer, a new window will open up. Here, I want to georeference a topo sheet that I have downloaded yesterday from Survey of India website that I showed you in the previous video. So here, just go to this option, open raster file, select your topo sheet. Here, this is my topo sheet. I will open it. Now it, it should load on your uh, workspace. Once it is loaded, we will use the information present in the topo sheet and assign the coordinates accordingly. The process of giving locations to certain features in the form of latitude and longitude, the process is called as georeferencing. So surely it should load. It might take a while sometimes depending on your processor and the uh, operating system that you are using. Okay, so as you can see that it is loaded. Now, here in this topo sheet, you can see that there are certain locations for which I know the coordinates. For example, this corner, I know that it is 78 degrees 15 minutes east and 29 degrees north. So I will use these information at the corners, okay, to georeference my entire topo sheet. So I will click on this option add point and then a plus cursor like this will appear on your screen when you are scrolling. So from here precisely select the center of this two lines, the intersection and this a box will appear to enter the coordinates. Here you can enter 78 degree 15 minutes. So you please convert that also into degrees. So 15 minutes will be equals to 15 by 60. That is uh, 15 by 60 will be 1 by 4 or I can say 0.25. Okay. Similarly here you write 29. Okay. Now you have in the table, you can see the coordinates are added for this point. Okay. Similarly, use your mouse wheel to drag and go to the right corner. So here again, your plus sign is here. So precisely choose the center point here and enter the coordinates. So 78 degree, 30 minutes means 0.5 degree. And similarly, 29. Okay. Similarly, go to the bottom corner. Okay. Here also 78 degree. I mean, now you are, you are aware how we have to do. So, let's just quickly do it. 78.5 and this one is 28.45 minutes means 45 by 60 if I do. So, it will be 0 0.75. Click on OK. Now, again, quickly go to the other corner. OK. So, here I can see how much it is? 78 point. I know it is 78.25. And 28.75. Click on OK. So now you have added 
all the four corners and this is also loaded here in the GCP table or we can say ground control points table. These four points you have marked. Now go to the transformation settings. Choose the uh, transformation type here polynomial 1 only. Let's just keep it as polynomial 1. Resampling method also let it be the default settings. Target projection system you please select WGS84 EPSG4326. In, ca in case it is not reflecting here, go here and select WGS84. From here you can select WGS84 4326. Okay, output raster means where you want to save this file with what name. So click here and let's say I want to save it with the name modified 1, modified 2 let us say. Okay, save it. Now compression none and save the GCP points and load in QGIS when done. So please make sure that these two are also checked. Click on OK. Now we are ready to georeference. Click on this play button where start georeferencing is there. Click on that. It will indicate the progress. It will not take more than a minute. Okay. Maybe in few seconds it will be done. Once the georeferencing is completed, it will reflect you here that the task is completed. So uh, georeferencing is very important before we proceed to any other kind of analysis in GIS because first we need to give the reference system like where or which place is located. Okay, so that's why the coordinate system we are giving. And how do you know that your sheet is georeferenced? If you will scroll on that sheet, you will get the coordinates instead of instead of the uh, Cartesian coordinates, you will get the georeferenced coordinates or geographic coordinates. So here you could have seen that there was a pop-up that georeferencing is successful. Now I'm going to minimize it and see. So here now you can see that it is loaded in my main window and it is georeferenced. How do I know it is georeferenced? You just scroll anywhere on this topo sheet and you see how the coordinates are changing. Now it's no more plus minus x and y values these are actually the geographic coordinates the latitude and longitude okay so by this i know that my topo sheet is georeferenced now there is a there are so many ways to cross verify whether you have done it right or not we can add a base map to this i mean behind this topo sheet i can keep my uh, open street map or google satellite google earth okay and verify i will just uh, see here so here you can say in your browser panel under xyz tiles open street map option will be there just click on that once you click on that it will be loaded here now you can see open street map is at the top and my topo sheet is at the bottom so i have to drag this to the top so i have dragged it to the top now you can verify for example this place you see the, there is a canal passing here, middle Ganga feeder canal. So I will just uncheck my this one, uh, I mean my georeference topo sheet and see whether is it the same or not. So you can see this place I have the feeder canal and if I uncheck it, yes in my open street map also canal is there. So this open street map is uh, like prepared already. And from there, we can just cross verify. For example, here it shows Naugawa Sadat. So let me see in my topo sheet whether it shows that or not. So yes, it is showing the Naugawa Sadat. So let me just see it again. Okay, it is here. Okay, so because uh, I know this particular thing, that's why I'm able to say. But let's just see this. There is a road going. It's a state highway. So see this the Hanora road is going through here or you can just see what are the coordinates here and what is the coordinate in your topo sheet like that you can mark two three points and know whether your sheet is perfectly georeferenced or not. So I, I hope that it should show that open street map in your uh, in your interface also but if it is not showing we have to see 
whether quick map services is added to your uh, software or not if not we have to go to plugins manage and install plugins and then see whether quick map services is added or not if it is not added you have to install it so once you install it will start showing if still it doesn't show then go to web go to quick map services and select osm osm standard then also it will start reflecting here so this open street map is available globally to uh, get the locations for various places so i hope uh, you have understood in this video that how we can georeference a topo sheet by georeferencing i have assigned all the places a particular location a particular coordinate and uh, now all the other tasks can be done after this on this topo sheet it is this topo sheet is ready for us to work and uh, by adding a base map i can cross verify whether i have done it right or not so i hope you have understood from this video still if you have any doubt please post it in the comment section okay thank you